Melikanang, Matrix. What is the Matrix? It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth of that. That's what the wise elder Morpheus tells Neo in the beloved sci-fi flip The Matrix. A movie about a ruthless young man realizing that everything he has been told about his world was a lie, and that he and his fellow human beings have been living in a simulated reality, called, well, The Matrix. Simulated reality is what comes to mind, too, over the just released document improbably named Association Matrix between Decoy and Bellum Tordesillas, in which a rudimentary diagram passed off as the work of a group sympathetic to the president and deeply involved in the IT business, who decided to provide the information to the president out of concern is supposed to show by her email footprint, six, that a fool of journalists, lawyers and Media organizations is in a grand conspiracy to oust the government of President Tudor. The Manila Times published what it must have imagined was a blockbuster story under the byline of its very owner and publisher, a Tudor appointed special envoy for international public relations. The story probably implies the unavailability of its source, the office of the president no less, which, incidentally, was also the accuser. How convenient Malakanang feeding the times with great insinuations that certain individuals and outfits were engaged in overt acts to bring down the government, and that paper corroding the charge against fellow media workers based on the self-serving claims of its source. Press later for any evidence that would support the outsider's matrix. Presidential spokesperson Salvador Kane Lotus only managed his usual explicit contortions before finally giving up on any rational explanation, Galen K. President, Peter Shalom Nayo, it's from the President, so you should believe it. Where did the President get his information? Kane Lo said he didn't know, but considering he is the President, he has so many sources, he validated, none, it's assumed to be validated. It took less than a day for observers and plain citizens alike to punch yawning holes in the so-called validated matrix. Winnie Montes, one of the names mentioned, was identified as a Rattler journalist. She is not. She is a columnist in this paper. Veteran journalist Sunday Espina Verona is not a lawyer, much less connected with the National Union of People's Lawyers. Verona, who used to work for the Manila Times, was obviously chuckling when she posted online, my former employer just promoted this University of the Philippines dropout to lawyer, journalist to lawyer, just on those glaring errors of fact, that article failed three times, other three times found this in the validated document, Blood Rindon, a founding trustee of the media organization Verifile, said she has been out of the group since 2018 to focus on her duties at the Ateneo de Manila University. The Philippine Center for Investigative Journalism, linked by the documents of journalist Ellen Tordesillas as alleged collaborators on the release of the recent decoy video, where an unidentified man accuses the president and his family of overseeing the drug trade, flatly denied being in touch with Tordesillas, or running any stories on the videos for that matter. Tordesillas herself dismissed the charge as hilarious, adding, what I find disturbing is, if this is the kind of intelligence report that the president gets and bases his actions and policies on, the country is in big trouble. Indeed hilarious and disturbing. This absurd matrix the latest one, anyway, from an administration dangerously besotted with funny looking diagrams meant to intimidate head enemies such as alleged drug lords, detractors and critics, and basically, anyone calling bull on the palace is exactly what the movie's definition of the word is, something that's being pulled over the eyes of the people to blind them from the truth. But hardly anyone is fooled. Public laughter and savage men created the release of the Matrix, and even the armed forces, it seems, is inspiring. While Kane Lo was turning himself into a pretzel conjuring an outsuitor scenario, AFP Public Affairs Office Chief Colonel Noel de Oyato was quick to swap down the talk. As of now, we have not seen any specific threat, he said. Never mind the Manila Times, but there goes, once again, the credibility of Malakanang and its hapless cousin of fabulous whisperers and amateur illustrators. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.